morning, Friday, 15th of June. Just uh, packed away quickly this morning now because uh, we want to take the train to Yerevan today. So leaves at uh, 11.45, so let's see if we can get to the train station on time. So, um, so uh, yeah, we'll take the train today. That means we'll give us an extra two days biking to Yerevan or we can take the train there and then we'll give us one extra day's rest in Yerevan before we have to tackle the big mountains of the south of Armenia. So that's why we're taking a little train trip today if we can. Let's see if we can get the bikes on there and uh, get to Yerevan today. I'm gonna find a hotel there and it'll look like we have a weekend rest in Yerevan and pick up my visa on Monday morning if the visa place is open. That's the rough plan at the moment. <laughs> let's see how it all works out as usual. Okay, let's get going. Okay, I read this one this Hotel's on an earthquake, or well, there has been an earthquake here. So look at the building next to it's been hit by an earthquake at one point. A lot of demolished buildings behind it. Yeah, that's what we've seen in Armenia so far. A lot of buildings that are just uh, decaying away. Okay, let's get to the train station. Okay, we just got three tickets for this train here. Let's see where we have to put the bikes in a minute. <laughs> I think they cost 39 pounds. So that's four pounds? Yeah, we have to go to Yerevan. <laughs> yeah. so they're all loading all kinds of fruit on here. Okay, bikes are loaded on the train here. Taking up a few seats, never mind that. There seems to be plenty of space. So. In, uh, in about 50 minutes we should be on the way. Mm -hmm. So now we are this weekend train. Easy when there's not so many rules. Yeah. <laughs> Take up a bit of space though, but I don't think there's too much of a problem. <laughs> Let's go and see a bit of our mini by train. Okay, there you can see that that's actually Turkey on the other side. There's the border fence. We're right on the edge of the border again. There you can see the control tower there. That means if this border was actually open, we could have crossed here. This would have been the easiest way to cross between Turkey and well, from cars to Yerevan. Right through here. But, uh, that's not possible at the moment, Prince Claude. In the distance there should actually be Mount Ararat and it's not possible to see today. It's a 5,000 meter high mountain where according to the Bible Noah's Ark actually uh, came ashore on the banks of Mount Ararat. One of the most uh, important landmarks of Armenia but now it lies in Turkey. <laughs> kind of a disputed problem. Approaching Yerevan, 20 minutes or so. Okay, our uh, train's leaving. Yeah, 
now here in Yerovan. <laughs> That's an interesting train ride. Didn't actually go the way we would have been uh, biking, but uh, it was an interesting ride anyway. But uh, we got past many, many uh, abandoned factories and uh, houses, so shows uh, signs that this area was once a big industrial area, now just abandoned. So signs of the sad history of this place, but uh, yeah. We'll go and uh, put the bags on the bike now, get into Yerevan, see if we can find a place to eat in a new hotel for a few days. And we're staying for a few days to rest and uh, get my Iran visa on Monday, I think. So, Okay, let's get the bags on, get into Yerevan. It's really warm here in Yerevan. Oh, too much clothes on, we put our long trousers on today instead of shorts when we're on the train, but oh, it's hot. We'll be sweating just crossing the town here. Very close to the town. Oh, that's just incredible, the people actually live in places like this. Wow. Okay, first stop in Yerevan, Kentucky Fried Chicken. <laughs> I haven't seen anything like this for a long time. So, uh, let's have some lunch and we'll try and find a hotel or something like that. Just stay in the next few days. Quite nice in the centre here. This is the second hotel we've tried to ask in the full <laughs> First time we've experienced that on this trip, but anyway it's full. Usually all the hotels are empty. Maybe not in Yerevan, maybe it's a popular place for people to stay in hotels. Okay, now we're out on the town. Have a little walk around. I've been recommended a restaurant so, and some Armenian food. Sounds delicious. Let's go and have a see. She's staying in a a youth hostel this evening because the hotels are all full but they found us a really good youth hostel just around the corner and we can move back to the hotel we tried to get in earlier we can get in there tomorrow so uh, but now the youth hostel is really nice it's brand new so Jemmy wants to stay there now <laughs> yeah I think that the, the hotel was also very friendly so yeah, yeah so yeah but the, the hostel are very friendly with us so who would believe there was Debenhams in the middle of all this town? <laughs> nice. Okay, one of the things that Armenia is famous for, we've heard, is the food and especially the wine. So we asked in the in the um, hostel if they could recommend a place and they recommended this place. And that was really a good recommendation. So she told us, gave us a piece of paper, what to eat. So. <laughs> Just some uh, olive leaves with some uh, meat inside and some kind of yogurt, and then this is a kind of cabbage leaves. Mmm, looks good. Jamie's what got there? What have you got there, Jamie? I have uh, beef, actually, it's a long time before. I have really beef, you can just see, you can do this. Mm. You can take two pieces. Perfect. And bread and soup and I must say the wine is absolutely fantastic. Really is really as good nice as uh, we've heard about. So. Can we begin to eat now? Yep, we can <laughs> begin to eat. Uh, looks good. So now it's time to get some uh, energy for the mountains ahead. <laughs> so that was a real good experience evening dinner. Yeah. Really, really good. Looks a real dinner though. We yeah. haven't seen of turkey yeah really best, really nice best food we've had since uh, Mostar in Bosnia yeah, nice red wine and really nice restaurant and perfect yeah. yeah and Jamie wants to say something actually I don't understand the first thing uh, we was in the hostel and she say in reception it's too hot for me to go in <laughs> there it's very hot in the nighttime also so she say it's n it's not good. It's too warm. What Jamie is trying to say is you it's are very strange that it's actually nice and warm and mild here, and we are very close to Turkey. But in Turkey, it's been cold every night, yeah, yeah, yeah. and we are not very far away. We can take it like in yeah, direct that's true, yeah. Yeah. line. It's really warm here, yeah. Across really, the close really border, yeah. but it's really nice and warm here. Yeah. So that was excellent. Yeah. Now we tried Armenian food. Some of you heard about. Now we know what that's like. Yeah. That's, ex that's worth actually flying all the way to, to Yerevan just to taste the wine, it was fantastic. Yeah. So. And now we'll go back to our brand new hostel which is actually quite nice. Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah. And then uh, 
the plan is now, uh, we we'll try and get my Iranian visa. I'm not sure we can get in tomorrow yet. Maybe it's open, we're not sure. But uh, that's the reason for coming here, is to get my visa for Iran. And uh, have a rest, <laughs> it's what we really need before we go into the south of Armenia, where we need to um, tackle some really big mountains. So, Okay, that was good. Next few days you're just resting here. Two days, I think, resting. So. Then, uh, no, maybe three days resting. Yeah. yeah, three days resting and then we're back on the bikes Tuesday is the plan at the moment, but that might change. <laughs> okay, see you tomorrow. I just need to say one more thing. It feels some Acropolis here. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Now you just can see uh, they are planning yeah, you can just see Portugal are playing VM now and everyone in town are seeing football. So yeah. it's, it's not only in Europe, everyone's seeing football. We're very close to Russia here, yeah. yeah. And tomorrow Peru is playing Denmark. So maybe we have to find a place to watch that tomorrow. That and could Cristiano be. Ronaldo are there. Oh yeah. So, that looks like a nice place to sit and watch football there. Okay, let's go back to the hostel. We need a rest. Not sure whether this place is the Armenian version of an Irish pub. Seems to be a maybe a place that should come up one of the other days. It's quite funny. This is very strange walking to Yerevan here. Well, in the night time, but any time I suppose. Um, we've seen so simple villages from the um, train today and abandoned factories, like closed down factories. And now we're like in a city here, there's modern modern cars, modern bars and restaurants and everything. It's so strange, really, really strange to see the differences. Well, this is our hostel here. Mila's is already making herself at home here. Actually brand new, opened one year ago. <laughs> so this is our home today. It's a nice place and we're sleeping in here. I think Jeremy's already asleep. Okay, so that was uh, that was it for today. Tomorrow we'll